Hey, it's Uncle G from Audacity Dawning. It's early Saturday morning, and today is the end of summer camp and the beginning of freezer camp for the meat birds. Stay tuned. So it's five something in the morning. We had thunder and lightning a few minutes ago, but it looks like maybe it's gone away. Um, but we set up the uh, processing area underneath the carport just in case, because we uh, not quite sure what we're gonna run in today. But one thing we do know we're gonna run in today is heat. Um, it's 80 degrees already, it's first thing in the morning. And it's going to get up to 101 at least today, according to the forecast. And it's going to be humid. So we want to get as much of this done as we can, as early as we can, so we can go back and relax in the air conditioning and uh, not be out here sweating. So let me show you real quick what we got to set up, and then we're going to get started. So we got. A water bowling over there. We got our first uh, soak uh, for the cooler and our processing table over there. We got our chicken plucker over here. And then the one area that we don't have over here, whoever's running that is going to get wet, is the kill cones. We have our cones set up over here. And uh, we'll just do them two at a time. We did this when we did this last year. We were, seem to be able to keep up pretty good uh, with that. We're just about ready to get started. All right, so we're gonna, these guys are packed up and ready to go over to the other side. And we're not quite ready to get started yet because we gotta wait for the water to get hot. Uh, and the rest of them are in here and they're like, we don't know what's going on, but we don't like it. They're hungry, they're mad but it's been too hot and it's time to get this done. Just waiting on the water to hit the right temperature. Are uh, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so all we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab one. <laughs> well, I just try not to. It's kind of keep letting them pop out of this because I'm gonna keep them calm as possible. We don't wanna stress them out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just can't grab the leg. This little big thing is giving me enough room. So I got his legs, I got both legs. So I got it now. He's gonna come out. Speed to come. Let the head come down. Sometimes they might be too small to fall through, so just be careful of that. So just hold the head down. You just take the knife. You wanna do just one, one smooth cut. Just let it sit. I usually hold the legs for a little bit till they stop. Just so it don't walk down to me. And once it calms down a little bit, then I'll go get another one. Because we only have two people processing, mm -hmm. we're gonna wait for this one. We'll put a five minutes in between. Yeah. That way, that give them some leeway. That's creative too. Mm -hmm. That's the same way <laughs> versus the other way yeah. they used to do it. Well, it would, um, had a neck on the side. They, used to, well, they used to ring the neck and pile. Well, that, that was that way, and then they would cut their heads off, All right, let them run around, yep. or they'd put them on a big wooden block, Slide take an axe, yep. chop the head off, and let them run and go on. Hurry up and pump. Yeah. I think this is probably this is yeah. a little bit better because <laughs> they're a little more common when they're in and it's more beneficial you could drop one bam let him finish bam especially if you got a lot of process you know yeah. what i'm saying you well i think the last time we did this we did like 25 
took us like mm, about four hours. Well, we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't. That counts, bro. It was <laughs> that first counts time. for a lot. Because he was set up there. so fast yeah. that this time, like the setup, because he was already prepared. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like even this setup right here, this is this is smooth. <laughs> this is it came smooth. Yeah, right. How we just went through this process? We saving stuff for uh, yeah for Jeff, uh, Jeff and him when they came down. So, so we didn't do them all. Yeah, that's all a lit. That's a lit. So how long? I mean, so. Um, the other chicks, the one that. Do you uh, want me to do one more? Do, do, the eggs? do you want to process one? Okay. okay. <laughs> so the other ones, though, the the um, just remember, just try to move slowly, keep it calm as you can, don't stress them out. Cheers. <laughs> Something to think about for later. Just hold up. Just hold it. Just hold it. No, just hold it still for a second. Now just ease it up. All the blood rushes to there. Yeah. So we'll set the knife here. Good job. Hold the legs so don't. Get it out, bro. And that's the, it for this process. You ready? We're gonna take this one over. You go ahead and grab that. Okay. Go. Oh, oh okay. you gotta put the stuff in place. That was about 10 seconds, is what I used for that other one. Pull it out, see the feathers come out easy. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at my little cheek. What's up? Fuck it, On the table or in the cooler? Yeah. So, before we go do another one, we just sit down and watch watch the process. That's what I want to do. I want to watch this part. <laughs> and then when she get done, we'll take it, rinse it out for a good, and put it in the cooler. The salt water cooler? Yep, okay. and that'll be in there. So this is just regular water or is this salt water as well? Right now that's just regular water. So, he said that there's a lot going on up here, so you gotta cut here. No, no, no. Yeah. But you take the feet off. Take them off first? Remember yeah. at the knuckle? Too big for this. I'm going to say, yeah. This just a matter of And I'll oh, I it. Ah. So, but, no, I do the next. Um, and just make bone broth probably out of the neck and the feet, the guts. Um, so the yeah. neck and the feet? Yeah. So when you want that, put it for yeah. Okay, this is ready to be rinsed. How do you do that? Get the long drop. I think I did. Alright, come on. Is this right so far? Yeah, so 
Grandma will be right back. She just wants to go get something to eat. I know she's laughing. So the next is heat. You're gonna put your neck back to it. And you wanna make sure all your feathers are off. You ain't gotta worry about paying for a lot of this, so. Right now. Right now. Okay. Uh, did you mention about the, uh, the gallbladder or whatever it was that we don't want to hit? Uh, no. It didn't, he didn't talk about didn't the, talk uh, about but I know if you bust that, it destroy the meat. Right. Yeah, just like a deer. Yep. Right. Yep, big fat. So we just need to make sure that we try not to bust anything. Yeah. And if we do, we just gotta clean up everything real quick. Right away with the water? Yeah. Yep. That, blood, that right there, huh? Yeah. Bust that bag. Got a vial. Bag of vial. And when I get to that point, it's so cut where the booty's in at mm -hmm. on both sides. And if you cut this neck, this tape is proper. Okay. And you're not doing an angle. And that's all uh, uh, that's bad. That's basically it. So then you take this thing here, mm -hmm. this is called a scraper. And what we're doing to see the lungs, so what we're trying to do is scrape these out. Oh, wow. Once you do that, you rinse it real good, and you're done. Put it in that one thing there. Okay. Put it in this one? Um, I think, I want to, I, I think he wants to, in the one in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, okay. What we're doing is just holding the chickens until we can process them here. Okay. Well, that's what that one right mm -hmm. there is for? Okay. Just the whole, if we get, like, I get behind, mm -hmm. it's just holding those. And I'll just try to make sure everything is out. Then go here. And that's pretty good. Some of this excess stuff. Clean it up. Just clean it up. Oh, you. Turn the water on. Yeah. Pretty easy, huh? I love it. I like it a lot. There you go. Get up done. Come on. Dang. Do I need to, uh, you can rinse it off, no? Okay, so two hours and 25 chickens later and we're done and they are cooling down for the next day and then we'll bag them up sometime tomorrow. So the next day we processed all the chickens and uh, in our haste to get it done, we forgot to set up the camera to show the process. So that we'll have to show you another time. but. It's safe to say that we did get through all of them and got them bagged and in the freezer and they're ready for consumption over the next however long it takes us to eat that mini chicken.